my name is Sarah so today I'm going to be showing you a very exciting tool and I want to recommend this tool for people that are new to design or people that are just starting out or people that um, just want to test out an idea even though they don't have design skills so this tool is very important or very useful to non-designers that want to quickly prototype something without um, getting designers to design for them so another interesting part of this tool is the fact that you don't need to download anything it's all on the web so to get started you just type in visily.ai and you can see the landing page you can go down with an ai powered design software for everybody so you can look through the features see reviews see different features of this particular tool so to get started you can sign up or log in i already have an account so i'm just going to log in and you can see all of the projects i've built using this particular tool so i'm just going to show you how to start a new project you click on new project you type in the name um so you really put awesome app awesome test app and then um i want it to be a mob a web app um so i can choose from any of these template but i want it to be a blank app and then i can click on start designing now but before i do that i want to show you something very important and that's what they call styling or the theme um for designers who use figma and other tools they can talk about they call it um a style guide or a design guide and so but what happens in this is that it's, it's that's in the team where you can configure that in this is the team so you click on select team so you can select team from a team or library you can see different color patterns right or you can select from keywords so i can say i want something professional or colorful or bold or formal depending on what and i'm going to generate a team for me and another way is to create to extract them from a url so say i have a website that i like i just type in the url and then i can generate a theme then the last one is extract from an image so you can upload an image ask you to upload an image and you need to extract colors from that image and use that for your theme so but i want to select from the theme library so i'm just going to choose um one of these so it's generating the theme for me yeah so you can see the team this is a, this way it's going to look like so like i said you can also customize right these are the colors if you click on edit you can see the main colors so you can see this is a primary color secondary color color three color four color five you can edit any of these you can remove some of these colors or you can add another one do you see it and save so it's it's added back the semantic colors are colors for like warning error you can see danger warning success info they also have the gray set of course so these are like the basic things a style guide need visually does all that for you and you can actually tweak to what you like so it looks good so we're going to just start designing so i'm waiting for it to load right now and you can see uh, so it's asking me do i want to build from pre-built template you know earlier we, we earlier before we chose blank but we can also get from pre-built template like we saw before or from sketches so when you have a sketch on a paper you can upload it and obviously ai will automatically match your sketch to component and give you some sort of template you can start with or also from app screenshots so you can also start from an empty screen if you don't want any of these three options but because this is a tutorial i just want to show you how to create your first project so i'm just going to click on a tribute template and you can see the lot and lot and loads of template this tool it's so beautiful i love it so much you can see lots. so it gives you a an easy ride so let's say i want to build a web app and I, of course i need a login page i need a sign up page so i can just decide to pick this at the sign up page that's my sign up page where is my login login page um i can pick this as my login page so i pick that as my sign up page let's leave that um i can also decide to pick some other few screens um say i want a dashboard um i want a calendar project management calendar i want um a pricing tool 
I want an FAQ session. I want a contact us session. Um, so, so these are app layout. Why these are full time? These are app layout like um, headers, um, nav bars, sidebars, and things like that. So I add my selected template and Vowler. You can see that I have, without even doing anything, I have what is some sort of um, web app ready to go. So this is my login page. I can now decide to edit to say, okay, this is this is my sign up. Let's create a login page for this particular sign up screen. So I'm just going to du duplicate that as I've done and bring that here. And um, I can call this sign up and this login. So what will I do for the login? The login, I just want users to be able to log in their email and password. So I'm just going to remove this and adjust my rest of the screen based on that. Boom. And we are ready to have, we have our sign up and, lo and our login screen already so i'm just going to stop here for a while and then we'll continue in the next video thank you for listening i hope that you check out this link and let me know your thoughts um share your thoughts and opinions with me thank you so much bye